Yes, sir. Thanks, sir. I was thinking, Jasmine, I was like, dang, um, you, there's a few guys in here, you done made them feel real bad. Like, you know, I love like, brothers. Don't lie. I love brothers. I love brothers. It's I funny that you should say that. I love brothers, <laughs> too. I'm guilty. And since we're talking about brothers, um, let's talk about brothers. I love black men. The way they walk with an air of confidence, a slow, steady, long stride in each meticulous step. The humming in the base of their tone as they dictate their positions and our hearts with an inaudible vocal range. They rearrange goosebumps across our spines as they split our octaves, leaving us torn to belt out falsettos against the growing sense of determination and vigor inside our composition, I'm saying. Mm. And uh, you know what else I love about our black Zulu kings? The, the, their significant broad shoulders, the way their skeletal muscles vibrate each time they lift the box, the lateral view of their biceps slow grinding with their scapula and forearm squeezes forces condensation to trickle from my pectoral to my opening and uh, you know that you know that deep V-shaped D'Angelo cut that travels yeah, from their navel to their obliques and how it plays peekable wonder low rising baggy sweats with wondering eyes as always loved my black men but uh, you know what else uh, I really love about these black men? I love how they shot sequels of life inside of my waiting uterus, giving me a sense of ecstasy and purpose that my existence has never experienced before. Eternally grateful is mankind. But uh, you know what I really, really love about our strong Nubian kings, ruler of the V and builder of the passage to motherhood? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I love how talented males are, making magicians of themselves overnight, transforming from men full of promises and courage to becoming little lost black boys with adolescent minds and next day full of regression when the climax is done. Oh. And I love how the world glorifies a man for doing what he is supposed to do. And even from the pitfalls of my bitterness, $50 bi weekly for children, you intimately sworn into existence ain't much. Two hours every other day, bouncing your legacies on your lap on display isn't exactly a fucking holiday and excuse my French but these English speaking men are some of the most insecure species multiplying their excuses on this earth and selfish is he who tree hops and leaves his nut to fester on the limbs of a woman's Ooh. love while he swings his masculinity from one honeysuckle to another. Wow. Never stopping to look back because the world opens the doors for little black boys running away from responsibility. Wow. We reason their reluctancy to realize their wrongs by writing off their and making straight the lies they infectiously lined up for women to circle in and counterclockwise, counter the clock while he's wising up to a new woman to escape two and three. I love how men are the greatest fuckers of mothers who hunt the females who are hailing from mothering some other fantastic definition of manliness. So now they're fast to fall for people's foes. Give themselves away to mendingos full of lies and men he goes to lower expectations and standards and here the world goes enabling his selfishness and Reciprocity, it never comes from the selfish. And accountability, it never rests on the lips of a selfish boy. Instead, it is a woman that is shot down by his accusing finger. And while I'm drowning in responsibility, check this, you'll all levitate him for being an outstanding per diem father. And you'll snap your fingers and blame me for being the bitch that caused this man to return to his boyhood. And hood boys aren't the only boys in the neighborhood to create this cultural norm. It's you. Self-proclaimed deep thinking intellects that cast stones to every woman on welfare Oh, she's lazy. Every woman with four kids is an easy jump. And every woman at ease with your reservations about your objective is an angry woman with an attitude. And every angry woman with an attitude has hidden tear stains from bearing your pains as now in a lunatic baby mama with drama. Mm, right. <laughs> and coming from the society and the place in my head, I can assure you in all of my consciousness that I am not their baby mama. I'm just so sick of so typical niggas, sideline parents, and simple no patheticness, Panhandling for forgetfulness or regretfulness, talking about how time never passes. Well, I shook its hand and can stand to say that I love black men. Your selfishness 
you taught me resilience. Your betrayal made way for my spiritual connection. Your indignant entitlement motivated my survival. And your deceit and overthrowing responsibility, shit, it didn't remove my crown. And walking out and being a responsive man only made me fruitful and enhanced my awareness of my self-worth and divine purpose to provide and protect my prince from peddling peasants promising to appropriate his perfection. So yes. thank you, black men, for bettering me. Sincerely, truthfully, always yours. Toya, Jasmine, Janina, Jamila, Tori, Leisha, Renee, Shirley, and of course, <laughs> Decipher. All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.